Greetings everyone! Today is going to be another hashtag healthy button video. I thought it would be kind of fun and interesting, I hope. Well, I thought it was interesting, okay, to do a what's in my gym bag. You've all heard of what's in my bag? Well, this is what's in my gym bag. I know you're like looking at my muscles like, boom! Actually, look at this! I am getting stronger, okay, should I didn't, what am I doing? Am I like Arnold Schwarzenegger right now? But seriously, these pipes, I didn't have those before. So as you know, I have been working out on the regular, nothing too crazy, but I'm going three-ish times a week and um, I'm typically doing like weights, different types of classes, I do spinning occasionally and um, I'm feeling good about it. So I thought I'd show you what I take with me to the gym. So this is my gym bag. It's nothing special. It's just a plain one from Sweaty Betty. Yeah, when I saw this, I got this ages ago. I just liked that it was so simple. It's kind of like tubular, tubular man. And it just fits all of my stuff perfectly. So I'm going to unzip the bag. And here's what I have inside. So I put a few extra things in here than I normally have, but I just wanted to show you a couple of different options. As far as tops I wear to the gym, I typically wear like these sort of t-shirty ones. Um, this one is from Nike. I actually got this at a Nike like outlet store. It was so cheap, it was like $7. I got it in Canada and it's one of my favorites. Um, so I like this sort of like jimmy material. I feel like it's really breathable. It feels good on my skin and it doesn't kind of cling to the, you know, parts of my body that I don't want it to cling to. So yeah, this is from Nike. And then another shirt from Sweaty Betty is this one here, um, which is inside out. But it's this nice blue color, which everyone says is my color which I don't know, I like this color, but yeah, I wear this one a lot too. So that's from Sweaty Betty, just a regular like t-shirt top thing. Another thing I'm dying to talk to you about is this sports bra. How sexy is this? No, this is kind of like, if you want your boobs to be locked and loaded, stuck on your body, not going anywhere, and people with big boobs know what it's like to be hopping around, and your boobs are like boing, boing, boing. They're like hitting the floor. They're taking someone's eye out and you're just like, stay on my body. Um, this is the bra that you need. It is so amazing. And I just noticed that Net-A-Porter started selling it. So I feel like I was on this before the cool Net-A-Porter bandwagon, but this is the best sports bra you will ever have in your entire life. So I'll do it up and show you. So this is the front section and it's got like all of this, there's no padding in it, there's no wire in it. It just has all of these really supportive seams. And then the back is really where the magic happens. So it does up here behind your neck and then it also has like a regular closure. But this is the part here that really keeps everything intact. It is so great, I absolutely love it. Most of the time I have to get Aslan to help me put this thing on because I can't like, I don't know, it's kind of difficult sometimes, but best sports bra ever. I have two black ones and I have one white one and yeah, they're amazing. I have a lot of workout pants, but my favorite by far are by Lululemon. I don't know the exact name of these and I have cut the tag off so I can't even tell you, but I'll try to link them below. It's just their regular pants, they're plain black all over and then the bottom is just like a tapered, like it's tight on your leg. For some reason, I don't like capri workout pants. They just annoy me, I don't know why. I just don't like that little bit of calf exposed. Um, and I don't usually wear shorts unless I'm working out outside and obviously it's too cold for that right now. So maybe in the summer I'll get into the short zone, but I just feel most comfortable in these. They're really movable. I feel like they really just hold you in and they're not too tight and they're just very comfortable. I don't even want to admit how many of these I own, but I think I have around five because I wear them to the gym all the time and then I have certain ones that I just wear at home. So I pretty much live in these. Lululemon has got my back when it comes to pants. Deodorant wise, you know I love natural deodorants. My favorite is by La Vanilla, but when I'm at the gym, I can become a bit of a sweaty mofo and I need something more powerful. So I've been using this one. This is the Dove Maximum Protection. Just got it at the drugstore. It's the original scent, works well for me. So have that in there. And socks. So for me, there is nothing more annoying than working out 
and your sock falls down and slips halfway down your foot and you're like, I can't focus on these squats because I'm thinking about how annoying my socks are. So I've tried many different types of socks. Some are just too big and they kind of like go too high over the shoe. Some are too small and too, I don't know. Long story short, these are my favorites. They're by Lululemon. It's just the regular socks they have by the cash register. I have tons of them. I love them. This is a purple kind, but they also just do like plain black ones or they do different colors and different patterns, but they're super, super comfortable. They have this like tighter part around the top of the foot. So it helps with the anti-slippage. And then as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'll put my hand in this just to show you. Um, so just pretend that's my foot. Just pretend you can see this would be the ankle and then it has this little extra piece of cloth here that kind of goes over your ankle and kind of like over your shoe. What I'm trying to explain is that these don't fall off and I think they're incredible. So it's worth the money for these socks, I think. I absolutely love them and I buy them as gifts for people all the time. If I know someone works out, I always get them these socks because What's not to love? So you just saw a sneak peek of my shoes. These are the ones I wear to the gym. They're the Nike Zoom. I think they're called Active Fit or something like that. Again, I'll link them down below. They're in this really cute greeny color. It's kind of like mint green, but a little bit brighter. Muted neons, you know, I love that. And then at the bottom, it has these really cute little things, which are like pressure points on your foot. So it helps with balance and all of this other stuff. I don't know. I just like them because they're comfortable and they cute. Since I have shorter hair, it's really difficult for me to tie my hair back. Like I can't actually do it. And I don't want my hair like swinging in my face. So usually I just take the clip and I just kind of like go like this and clip it in the back or do something. It holds the perfect amount of hair. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't fall out. They're so handy. A lot of people ask me where I get these and I usually go to Sally's Beauty Supply. I haven't bought them in years because I have so many of them, but yeah, I think Sally's should have them. Gloves. I'm just gonna put these on right now because this is my favorite thing in my gym bag because it makes me feel like such a badass because frankly, I feel like a badass in these. And you're probably thinking, wow, Estee, that's really intense. And it is, but it's not that intense. Because I'm doing weights and stuff at the gym, my hands were getting completely shredded. Like I can't think of a better word for that, but they were getting cuts and calluses and it was painful. I'm giving you fair warning. I'm going to insert a picture now and this wasn't even at their worst. So just let me show you that now. Take a little look at that and now you realize why I got gloves. At first I was like, oh, it's gonna be so embarrassing wearing gloves at the gym, but nobody cares and they help so much. They just help you grip onto the weight and hold it for longer and it doesn't hurt your hands and I can still have a nice manicure and not have to worry about that. So I got these from Amazon by York Fitness. I'm loving them, I think they're amazing. Next up, my water bottle. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what the H-E double hockey sticks is that in there? And it's a piece of charcoal. It's just to filter the water. It's pretty cool. You just like slip this thing off and then this thing comes out, if I can get it out, yep and you just drink the water like a normal person would drink water. It's a plastic water bottle, so I don't have to be afraid of dropping it. And it's got a good seal on it, so you just click it back into place, and there you go, water bottle. I drink so much water, it's not even normal. I love water so much. Oh yeah, so I put my phone in here because uh, I didn't want to forget that I listen to music at the gym occasionally. I usually do classes or other things that's like interacting with people, so I don't usually need to listen to music, but sometimes if I'm just like doing my own thing, I'll listen to music and I have my headphones as well. These are my favorite headphones. I don't know, they're by Sony and it says XBA-2. I don't know, but I really like them and they come with me everywhere. And we are coming to the end of this. Um, I have my gym lock, that's not very interesting. I also keep a banana in here, like I usually just grab it with me when I'm leaving. I have to eat immediately after I work out or I feel like I could faint. So I usually just bring a banana or a piece of fruit to eat on the way home. Which brings me to my next point. Um, you're probably noticing that there's no showering stuff in my gym bag and that's because I live really close to the gym that I usually go to. So if I go to the gym, I just walk home, takes me five minutes and I take a shower at home because I have a phobia of public showers and I just, um, 
I, I don't know, I just don't like them. So I'd rather just shower in my own domain. It takes me five minutes to get home and I can be in the comfort of my own home. So that's pretty much everything. As you can see, the gym bag is now empty. I love neon so much. So yeah, it just kind of makes me happy when I open that. So anyway, that is everything. I hope you like this video, what's in my gym bag. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what else you'd like to see in the Healthy Button series. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me at Essie Button. That's the doorbell. That is the doorbell indeed. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video quickly, go get the door and I will see you in the next one. Bye. If I put my hand up and gave the wrong answer, I would be embarrassed about that for weeks. And in fact, I can still remember certain things where that happened, where I gave the wrong answer and I still feel like an idiot. And I'm like, stupid, stupid, stupid.